In this video, we're going to look at how you can manage and maintain the pupil and staff logins in your Purple Mash portal. The things we will cover in this video will include deleting and creating new staff members and pupil logins. This can only be done if you are the admin person for your Purple Mash site. If your logins were initially set up using WAND or Group Call to sync up with your MIS user database, then you can simply use the admin section, go into the create and manage users section. You can simply use the tools area at the top here to activate the MIS sync wizard. That will automatically create new user logins for any new pupils or staff members that have joined your school since you originally did the MIS sync. If you have manually created your users in Purple Mash originally and simply want to add a new pupil that has joined your school, you can click on the pupils area on the left hand side here. You can add one pupil at a time by clicking the add button. Add in the details for the pupil. Make sure you create the username so that it looks like the other pupils in the class. You can create your own password for the pupil or select the generate random password button at the top here and select which option the other children in the class also have. I'm going to select the picture pin, which is the four digit picture pin. And as you can see, the password's now been popped into that password section. At the bottom, I need to select the class that this pupil belongs to. And if I want to add them to any groups that have been created, I can also add them in there and click the save button. So there we have Daisy's login and if I want to print off her login I can click on this drop down menu at the top right, export and print logins here and choose which of these options the export type I want to use. At the end of the school year you may want to make sure that your pupils are in the correct classes ready for the beginning of the new academic year. If you click on the tools at the top here you can go down to the end of year wizard the end of year wizard will guide you through moving your pupils from their previous class into their new class. You can simply select the pupils that are leaving the school. I'm going to select all of these children in class three and I'm going to add them to the leaving class and click the next button. All of the children in class two, the year one class, are moving up to year two, class three. So I'm going to click the add button there and add all of the pupils from class two into class three and click the next button. Here we have reception class from this academic year. I'm going to select all of the children in the reception class and move them up to class two, which is the year one class ready for the new year and click the next button. If I keep clicking the next button, I have some choices to make. Do I want to archive the work that the children have created in the previous academic year? If I don't want to archive the work, then I select that. If I want to archive the work and send it to the pupil folders, this will create an archive folder that only staff can access, which will contain all of the work the children completed during the previous academic year. This option will also add an archive subfolder into the individual pupils My Work folders, which they will be able to see. Choosing this option ensures that the work that the children have created from one year to the next is saved in its own archived folder. This option here does not create an archived folder, but does send all the work that the children completed in that previous year into the children's individual My Work folder. I'm going to choose this option here and click the next button. Then I get to review the data just to make sure that I've got the correct pupils moving from their previous class into the correct class and click finish. If there are any errors in this process, these will appear at the top here, but I can see that's worked perfectly well and those 35 children have been placed into the leaving class. And I'm going to close that down. Let's go to the classes now and just double check that that's been correctly done. Reception class no longer has any pupils in it because those pupils were moved up into class two. So I would now need to make sure that I manually add the reception class pupils in ready for the new academic year. The quickest way to upload an entire class of pupil logins is to use the wizard if I click on the drop down menu at the top right here, I'm going to use the import wizard. Here is a spreadsheet of the name, the class name and the UPN of these children in my class. I'm going to highlight those three columns of data, copy that section, go back into the import wizard and I'm going to paste it directly into this section here, control V and click the next button. It will then try and decide what it was that was on the titles of those columns, display name, class and UPN. If this is not correct at the top of the column, then you can change it to any one of the other options here. But I'm going to click next. Now I need to decide what the pupil logins are going to look like. I'll choose that option there. 
and click the next button. I can then decide what their passwords are going to be. I'm going to choose a two digit picture pin as they are a reception class and click the next button. This now gives me the option to review the data and it will tell me at the top a summary of what's happened. If there are any errors, they will be here in red and I can go back and fix those up. If I'm happy with that data, then I click the finish button and I can then export or print the pupil logins directly from there or I can do that at a later date. Let's have a look at that class now. So here is reception class and there are all the pupils added into that reception class for this new academic year. If you need to change the teachers that work with that reception class for the new academic year, you can do so here. Delete the teachers that you don't want to work with reception class and click the select staff button to add any new staff members that will be working with that class for this year. If at any point during the school year, or perhaps when a pupil moves from one key stage to the next and you would like to change a pupil's password, you can do that here in the pupils area. Select the pupils that you'd like to change the passwords of. I'm going to change all the passwords for class one. These pupils are currently in reception class and as you can see, they have a simple two digit picture password. I want to change their passwords to something a little bit more complicated and more age appropriate. I'm gonna click on the drop down menu at the top right here and click the change passwords button. That will enable me to select which of these options I want to choose to change the passwords to. If I click the generate button, that will change all of the passwords to something a little bit more complicated for that class. If you want to create any new staff members or perhaps delete any that have left the school, you can do that here by clicking on the staff tab. Deleting a teacher is very simple. Select the teacher that is left and click the delete button. If you want to add a new staff member, click on the add button, add in the details, including the display name. You will need to add in the staff member's email address. Give the teacher a username and select their role. If you would like them to be added as a school admin, then select that option there. If you want them simply to be added as a teacher, select the teacher option. At the bottom, you will need to assign them to which class or classes that they work with. They can be assigned to more than one class and which groups this teacher also needs to be able to work with and click the save button. That will then send an email to that email address that you've registered, which will include a link that the staff member can use to click on and activate their own account and set their own password. If a staff member forgets their own password at any time, they can click on the forgot password link on your login homepage, or you as admin can resend the welcome email by selecting the staff member there, clicking on the drop down list and clicking the send password link button there.